I really used to enjoy working a lot. I had my own business, and then I also worked for a hospital, UMass in Worcester. But then, back when I was working in the hospital, I was really sick. I kept getting hospitalized in and out, in and out, in and out, out of the hospital. So I worked as long as I could. So ever since then, I've been trying to take care of myself, but the disease is a t very tough disease. It's really tough. I, I have lost myself to this disease. It's like I'm actually living, but I'm not, I'm not really living. It's like I'm just existing. I'm not living the life that I would like to live. I'm living just trying to breathe, trying to get my breath, fighting for my breath. I'm Nancy Mercedes. I'm 53 years old, and I'm in need of a double lung transplant. I was about 32 years old when I was diagnosed and told I had alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. So I have the genotype ZZ, which is fatal. Um, the alpha-1 can destroy your lungs, your liver, or both. So it has destroyed about 75% of my lungs. So I'm at about 24% lung function. A double lung transplant is a very serious surgery. It's a very hard surgery. So for many years, I needed this, but I was too scared to go through with it because the statistics are very harsh. But because I was sick for, for 10 months last year just from a cold, I don't want to be sick again for that long and don't know if I'm going to make it or not. I could lose my life. When I wake up in the morning, usually right away, I have to do my nebulizer because I am so short of breath. So that takes me at least 10 minutes to do the nebulizer. Then I'm doing all my prescription meds. I'm on maybe 15 medicines a day, and I've been on this many since I've been like 32. I'm on continuous oxygen. Even, even when I'm on my continuous oxygen, using the oxygen, I'm fighting for my breath a lot of the times. You know, th that is just, it's so hard when I think about when I get my new lungs, what I'll do, because it, I've been sick since I've been in my late 20s. I know I'll be able to do these things again. One thing that I would love to do is, huh, just enjoy being with my family without oxygen, without being short of breath. I would really like to get my new lungs by three months, so that way I could enjoy this upcoming summer. I would really love to go to the beach this summer and just walk on the beach with no oxygen, being able to breathe good. Um, so that's why I'm hoping 